hello everyone so welcome back to this channel once again and in today's session i'll discuss uh, how to insert values into an identity column in table in ibm dbt s100 so basically um, we can have multiple ways to insert a value into an identity column however uh, when it is generated always means uh, it is auto populated uh, in that case, the identity column can be uh, left or skipped to populate uh, so that it will be auto populated or auto generated by the system itself. So, uh, let me show you the demo that how we insert the identity column values in the IBM I tables. So, DB2 tables. So, basically, uh, here what I'm going to do is I have already a table that is detail 18 so let me show you the details of that table let's take f4 so here we have three fields id call is the identity column field that is generated always and we have already inserted such data where we can see the identity columns are auto populated okay so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 was skipped due to some uh, reason and 12 was inserted so basically i failed one thing so that's why 11 was skipped so you can see this is the entity column uh, which is present here after 10 that is 12 now let's see how we can insert the data into this insert into ddl 18 so first thing is uh, by ignoring to populate the identity column because it is generated always so test let's say 30 and this is going to be 30 so this way you can see this is auto populated and we have only populated these two columns which are not identity column now another way would be to select all the fields including the id column and at this point i would pass the value as default so that it would set the default value to the identity column but here it is giving duplicate key value because this is the key field in this table so let me change this let's change this as well now you can see so you can see uh, on that operation where a duplicate key was specified and that 14 was used and that was skipped so we can say 15 identity column was set here so this is another way let me insert one more so you can see this one got populated so either i can uh, ignore that Field to populate, or I can pass the default value that is default as this so that the default value would get populated into the uh, identity column. Another way would be let's say uh, we need to have a scenario where we have two tables. So this is the first table that is select DDL 80 and the same table DDL 81 having all the same fields and every other attribute is same. So this is just created using the same DDL. I just create duplicate object this that table and created this one. So now I'm going to copy the data into the 81 that is DDL 81 table by selecting from DDL 80. So let me try to insert data into DDL 81 by selecting from DDL 80. Now just imagine that ddl80 and 81 both have the identity column so will 
it allow me so if i press enter it won't allow me because it says value cannot be specified for the generated always column id call because in in star i'm going to select all the fields and i'm going to insert all the fields so if i would have selected only two fields and insert into the two fields then that would be possible and because the system automatically generates the value for that and if we have set the default value for them so that is again possible now what i can do is let's say i just want to copy the whole data as it is so i do not want to change the identity column and i want to preserve this identity column in dd81 so what i'll do so insert into this one and select star from this one so i'll be using the override overriding system value clause so which will override the system value that is present here and will insert into this uh, table uh, so overriding system value for the entity column let's press insert so you'll see 14 records got inserted now this was 80 and you will see the 81 is same 10 12 13 15 16 so the result is same now let's delete the data from delete 81 that we just inserted using uh, this system overriding system value now let's say i want to copy the data of the dt80 including the identity column but this time i don't want to preserve the identity column and uh, i want user to set the identity column so in that case user can regenerate the identity column in the table this one and by selecting from this one so let's in that way in that case we'll use the overriding user value let's press enter so you'll see 14 records copied let's select from the delete one so you can see this is still 13 14 15 16 17 18 so that's basically the next id calls <coughs> that are present or available to be used over populate so this way this is uh, populated uh, by a user by using overriding user value and it want to use the ones which are present in this table while we are selecting the data from that table so this is uh, how uh, and the values gets inserted into an identity column in tables and i don't db2 so that's all thank you and have a nice